Hello and welcome back to Hard to Find 4 with our Austria-Hungary campaign. Um, we're doing pretty good, I think, uh, right now. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping that we can keep that up. I'm going to disable that because I don't give a shit on my allies' orders. But right now we're a bit of a passive position, uh, just the fact that we've got a lot of troops here on these borders. But we're kind of just, you know, keeping them uh, preoccupied and preventing them from assisting the Russians, which I think is a pretty good deal. Uh, we managed to get right now. Um, quick little look up at my production. I'm playing three different series now, so hmm, I'm not always getting the most, uh, the best information out of my own brain. Sometimes it's a little bit like. Uh... All right, so okay, there we go. Um, repair should be happening, we can upgrade the artillery, and we are we tr training any Panzer Divisions? Yes we are, good. Alright, well, hopefully Germany will quickly uh, take care of the Red Menace, but so far it looks like they're doing pretty damn well. Um, if we look at the war results, the we have suffered more losses so far. This is the wrong war. Yeah, it's the Soviet war. Um, all right, so we're pretty do, doing pretty good. Russia's halfway through capitulation, lost already four million infantrymen and women. That's 1.6 million left, and a lot of Germans are doing not that good, but they're only by service by requirements. I don't need even scraping the barrel yet. So, so far, so good. And I need to start taking a look at trade because I need a little bit more tungsten, and I'll take it from Portugal if I can. Um, as long as the Portuguese trade doesn't. Really, well, at least we get access to the uh, outside world again. Um, still doesn't mean that. Uh, let's just trade a little bit of Japan, Chinese Empire, Ace Pilot. All right, there we go. Now I think by uh, if you consider what the territory that's now already been taken by the Germans, this is like a large portion of the Russian um, of the Russian industry is in that area of the uh, of the country. So with that out of the way. They really are crippled with joint tank production. Um, might be useful because it's interesting that it's called joint tank production, but we are not really interested in producing anything of this. Well, at least developing our own tanks of the sort. We are, we are yeah, we are building them. Um, but that's where it kind of ends. Um, we're going to take this here because this is a um, shortening of the line because there's less provinces on the line, which is always a good thing to do. And we're going to keep the rubber problem most likely for the foreseeable future. But I don't perceive that too much as a problem. Am I actually... Do I have... Okay, I got a lot of factories in... Uh, on the planning. Now, let's take a look. This is all repair like that. That's very good. Now, let's take a resistance. How is the resistance growing? It's actually not that bad right now. Um... Let's see, let's deploy the next uh, list of these gents. Um, unassigned divisions. I thought I gave you orders. Alright, I um, need to, to automatically assign you to this dude. And uh, your defensive orders include, yeah, all conquered terrain. Very good. So they, will should, they should start resolving this problem soon enough. How many do you claim that you need? Like 12 to just hold that. And, uh... Alright, Turkey joined the Axis officially, so, um... We could, if we wanted to... Are, are they in the war? I actually have no idea. Um... Tank designer might actually be interesting to take a look at, because it gives us armor light and reliability. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just take it up. And... Uh, just still need only rubber. Factories are getting better, and uh, the rubber problem will be solved soon anyway. Plus, we'll be providing rubber for the rest of the world. Germany, 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 you should really push in a little bit harder. Do you have an equipment issue, Germany? Let's take a look at German troops. They seem to be fairly well supplied with the addition of Russian in, uh, infrastructure. They should be fine. I'm not really overly worried about that. We have a bit of an import issue on what? Right, we're not re receiving any or all of our rubber. Germany closed their borders uh, with export. Okay, well, it's to be expected that they do it. It's a little bit annoying, but... Um, 
I'm not really surprised considering um, the current threat that they're basically taking on on their own. Now that I don't have them to worry much. Um, but the, yeah, the Germans do pretty good and uh, Ita even the Italians are so far doing far better than I had ex expected they are pushing in in Africa here. Um, and with these nationalist Spain added onto it. There could be a bit more, more aggression, I think, coming on the African front. It might be a little bit too passive, like Turkey. Is they, are they in the war officially? Yeah, they are. So they could be pushing here into Free France, but they just... Uh, they don't want to overextend themselves, I guess? I don't know really what why they're not doing anything that much. Alright, so let's get more industry. Because industry is important. And, uh... Oh, Russia, you are so done for. Let's see, you have... Even though you got manpower left, which you already lost a, almost about a million manpower, I think, in, in the meantime. Yeah, you did. Holy crap. Um, you're also bleeding divisions, I think. United Kingdom? Okay, so there's the US. Japan declared war in the US, but it didn't stop um, anything in the previous... Uh, Timeline, so to speak, and I think I'm gonna see if I can push this in. Um, don't know if I can though. Kind of wanna start getting rid of some of it. It's a bit, bit annoying that it exists to begin with. Right, with that out of the way, let's get some. Uh, let's get our support companies uh, up and running. Now, I wish this war will be over soon, so we can actually go back and restore the Empire as we had it in mind. Um, but then again, that probably still requires a war with Germany, because we still lost the, uh, the Sedinland, which I believe is what we historically has cla have claimed as a, of our own, so... Speaking of which... Um, manage subjects... You're close, need 20 points. Assembly line production, start land lease, just 20 points, man. Once, uh, 6600, what's the number again? 6610. Oh, that's enough. Okay, so that should be that. Right, um, well, let's get construction on the way. There was a speed up repair. We're getting a couple more military factories. It should make it easier for us to do a lot of things. Right now, I don't really want to spend more military factions, like reserve, and eventually it will be here. Uh, um, so, what did it actually do? Eh, probably give somebody a bonus. Uh, this is a motorized armor technology. That is actually pretty useful. But, right now, I would like to... Okay, there's nothing in there. Do some little bit of resistance suppression. Get things from our country repaired that we are currently occupying. Deploy them. That's the tanks that we just deployed. Whoops. Uh, new theater. No, you can actually stay here. We're gonna just dump you in a new theater because you are uh, completely different. These guys are our spec ops. Special forces. We'll make them black. Um, get Dr. Phil to lead the tank corps. This guy does look like Dr. Phil. And is there any way we could just be annoying in this entire ordeal? So let's see. We're gonna go to. F uh, we're not currently six, so we're gonna go to twelve to two. And with that, we need a little bit more steel, which we can actually get from Japan. A little bit more tungsten, which we could get from, well, Japan, apparently. And rubber is still on... Well, can I get some from Brazil, which uh, is fairly useful, which should speed up production a little bit. And then we're just building the rest of the factories needed to do this. Now, you will not be doing much... If anything, though, I would like to put you right there and see if we can get some... Uh, assist you with some of the work you're doing here. Um, 
Get some experience, stuff like that. What are these visions actually looking like? I forgot. They're pretty good, but let's add on a, one motorized more. So that we have an issue with having not enough motorized, we just need a lot more tanks. Man, man, man. Retreat there. Okay, so there is actually a proper front line here. These are Dutch forces, yeah. These are brigades sent over from India or Indonesia. I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Germany, why don't you have the entire front line occupied? Could you please uh, keep them busy? All right, well, we've got our tanks doing their thing. We're going to manage the subjects and integrate them a little bit further. Great. Czechoslovakia. We're going to integrate you fully within our nation. At some point, uh, that's like legitimately our plan. Um... Big thing though, US forces, if they want to get here, they need to get through I don't know, our entire way around Africa. It's going to be difficult for them to do so. Though I would assume that a lot of US forces will actually take on the African war before anything else. Um, how, many, how much manpower do you have left? About a million. British Raj, even more than the British Raj. And Nationalist China is in our faction. They are a uh, Reichsprotectorate. Stalingrad has fallen. That's a big blow on the Russian side. And they are already 65% towards capitulation. And it's not getting better. So the more territory the Russians lose right here, before the Caucasus, and mostly this bit, which I currently have a box around, like right here, the more of this that they lose, the weaker the country gets, because that is where their part of their industrial production lies. So once you get past Mo to Moscow and past, you kind of have it in, in the bag. Germany has uh, 8 million people now because all those must serve. They may not produce a lot more equipment right now. But the Italians just drove into Cairo. Got in control of the entire Mediterranean Sea. So all navies that are here by the Allies are trapped. Units that are here are trapped. The... There is no way in and out of the Mediterranean anymore than by land. Um, so this is a good sign that we can start... Uh, so these forces probably will start getting supply problems. Not my force, of course, but these in Greece. So now, the Greece might provide them a bit of a supply, but it's not a lot. And a lot of forces will start suffering attrition because of it. And it's going to be glorious. Now, Italy is actually legitimately trying to push this in. Well, good for you, Italy. I don't see it happening anytime soon. Okay, well, let's start wiping out some Dutch forces. Okay, you immediately recognize the fact that I'm trying to do this. Oh well. Alright, let's get to... Uh, nope, we'll, we'll hold it. Okay, we cannot hold this? But it's, uh, it's uh, impressive. Probably due to an equipment issue, but I was hoping... That the Turks... Would actually be capable of defending their own borders, but they're not really. Not seem really, really interested in doing so. Well, shoot. You're joking. Eight guys are trying to get this tank division. Atomic research is done. Not that we're looking into nuclear warfare, but you know, a solid two percent of. Uh, so research speed is always a nice addition. Um, yeah, what are we gonna do? All oh, right, this should be getting better now. We'll trade the five, and we'll take six from Argentina. Fixing that little tungsten issue. Very nice. Yeah, we're going a little bit off a total, but uh, could be a lot worse, I guess. I'm still stockpiling convoys. We're still making medium artillery. All in all, I think we're actually not doing that bad. Um, I think I really should start looking at the paratroopers, actually. 
uh, if you want to take out England, the uh, paratrooper is the way to go. So, uh, yeah, let's start working on that. We have been producing aircraft, so we at least got an air force that can back them up. Though it might be tiny, I think it's a, a crucial uh, part of the entire ordeal. But yeah, let's get paratroopers. Hopefully, with that, we can get rid of the English menace and eventually we might be able to hop our way into the Canada front and hopefully Germany will join in because I don't think I can do this on my own. Germany is once again a little bit passive on the Russian front because I think they just know that they've won. There's some other priorities that they're shifting their attention to which I don't completely agree with in all brutal honesty because I think that they should focus on exterminating the Russians as quickly as possible right now. Oh come on, there's six Dutch forces. Oh, there are some Belgians in there. They're just being annoying. What kind of an economy am I running at? No, this is, it is a war economy. The feeling I should have a lot more... I'm trading away, of course, a lot of my civilian factories. Right, 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 right. I should get a lot more civilian factories. I think I'm pretty good on military. Let's... Oh, actually, let's bu do build those. Um, okay, so they try to break out there just now. Didn't go that well. These forces are dug in well. Good. I like them dug in. Let's get some more resources. I hope that I don't need to trade for that much. I'd really love to move away these forces, but uh, I don't see that happening anytime soon. I'm kind of peeved that this went wrong, but... Oh, good. The Italians are fucking up, as usual. Like, how the hell do you bolster this up? Like, seriously, I think we've got naval control over the area by now. France is fighting back successfully. Like, just get rid of the Soviets, man. I wish I could the forces to assist this. One tank division is not going to make the difference. Okay, I think it's time that we start, like, seriously pressuring this. Um, because it's just annoying by now. Alright, we've taken that back. Which is the fucking harbor. Uh, they still have a harbor, I think. Okay. Attack back, wipe them out. All right, got that out going. All right, you guys, can you just take this back, please? And there you go. I think it really is time to start pushing a little bit back, because uh, it's gone on long enough. It's going to get a little bit annoying that I cannot actively participate in this war. I was hoping that Germany would provide a little bit of support for holding these lines, but it's Italy, and Italy actually can probably use most of its divisions a lot better in Africa. So hopefully by assisting with these attacks, we might be able to actually to make the difference that is necessary to really have them roll. And it looks like they've got control over the area as much. They're safely sending forces over. Um, relatively safely. There's like still a small fleet left, but I think all in all, they're actually... a lot a lot more allied shipping looking at the amount of troops traveling here than anything else so by you know taking this out of the backyard i'm hoping that we uh, can take care of that and actually start actively supplying troops to the russian war because i uh, want to get that done as well now greece is still pretending that it is a nation even though you officially already capitulated i think greece uncapitulated himself probably Nah, they're still considered capitulated. Can no longer stop the side of the war from surrendering. Quit India movement. They remove capitulation status when they reclaim their capital. It must be ten and at most ten percent towards capitulation. They're currently at twenty six percent. Oh, they didn't take everything back. Interesting. But uh, yeah, they're low equipment, so just keep pressuring them. Just keep pressuring them. All right, you guys are going to add in a little bit more soon-ish. Just add the uh, grease bits. 
Okay, so 15 Greek forces pretend to be able to hold out. Well, Vrado is actually successfully doing it, but uh, not for long they are. Some import issues. Okay, I fixed a little bit of rubber. I fixed some of it, actually. That's pretty good. Nice. Fall of Leningrad. Oh, Russia. What do you have left, man? 80% towards capitulation. What's the... Where is, is your capital? Most likely would be... Oh, actually, that's taken by the uh, Japanese. So where is your capital? It is Archangel, Archangelsk. I don't know how the Russians pronounce it, but it's just Archangel. Um, Arkhangelsk. If you're a Russian, please let me know. I am legitimately interested. Okay, my tank is... Uh, just reconnect this, will you? There we go. Very nice. Alright. Um, what the hell happened? Japan just closed our economy. Great. What the hell am I even reliable on our foreign nations? No, I don't want to trade with you. And this is a 12, Turkey. And Sweden gets us at one. Tungsten from Japan is gone. Now we'll get a little bit from Sweden. Spain. That's not too much. Okay, there we go. We can do this. Uh, okay. Um, Alright, take back this island here. I can't remember the name of it. Peloponnes. Okay. And get Athens. I don't think I can actually take uh, Crete. But that's the fact that I have no uh, amphibious forces stuff. Okay. Get that out of the way. Good. Now, remove these final Greek people from Greece. Okay, and then after that, we can send... I'll send the Mountaineers to Africa, because I kind of want to get this bit just completely under control. So far, it's not looking that good. And I sent a big army um, towards the Russian front. I kind of want to get some pushing done right, right here. Just take that. There we go. Go. You start get over here and start with taking care of that. All right, Ireland joined the Allies, so that's got to make the big difference. And they got called to do the war. Well, with Ireland in the war, I wouldn't know what we we're gonna do. It's one of those big impact players. It's got to make the real difference. Sarcasm is definitely not something that I'm using right now. So, let's see. Archangel is five points. Um, what else do we have? We got a couple of points here. Oh, right. There's a big one here, I believe. No, actually, it's only one point. I thought it was 20 points. But yeah, there's a couple of ones that we need to take. So we're going to just keep the, uh, put a uh, big bit of pressure on. We're gonna uh, take care of uh, some of this here. Um, you're probably gonna suffer a lot of attrition here, so you're gonna go a more aggressive route. Um, desert fighting, the problem is that they're always saying like, oh, okay, we've got attrition issues, so we don't want to fight, and well, with that mentality, nothing will ever happen. So uh, yeah, let's uh, Get this show on the road and kick them out of um, Lebanon here and uh, what's it? Beirut? Did I ask? Uh, these guys should have low priority in equipment. Alright, there we go. Um, you guys take care of this. These are definitely not special for forces specialized in doing this kind of warfare. But I think that's all we have for now. Now, if the AI was sm smart, which it isn't, it would break the line. Okay, uh, we got some more hussars. Very good. I like the idea. 
Gonna set you both right there. And just uh, leisurely push down right that. There you go, both of you have your orders. Then I'll get the Mountaineers to... Um, there's a bit of a sandstorm going on. But the Mountaineers will have the uh, honor of uh, fixing uh, the uh, long strip here. Mechanized equipment. I want more paratrooper. I want more of you. Justification is against the United States is justifying against us. Are they literally just justifying against us or do they have got like an event? Defense of the Pacific. Well, that's definitely not giving me problems. Oh, it's against Japan. It's not like against us specifically, but one of our members. Okay, you should just stop for now and uh, chillax. You're not gonna break Alexander if you have no... Uh, what a fire. Evacue... Uh, uh, that one. Didn't fix most of my problems, sadly enough. Well, 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 poop. Um, do I even have... Okay, these come with the paratroopers standard. Okay, let's get the, the new equipment. Okay, just wait till you're completely ready for this. Dude, these guys have low morale. Come on, you should be able to take them. We've got an airfield here. Um, you can reach this and fly over, right? Okay, nice. And fly overhead and just keep providing the support that we uh, would really love and need right here. Alexandria will fall. Oh, come on. Can somebody please help me take this real quick? There we go. Got that out of the way. Um, this is like annoying territory that will one day be the reason that we lose. So we'll take that. And all of you will go on that one. Like seriously, can I want one of you to uh, quickly do that? And all of you to just quickly take over this. So we're going to just push in among the entire line here. Um, like most of this is still blocked uh, because of... Uh, the fact it's in hospital terrain, so we should go, want them out of this area to begin with. So it's like the big start uh, for all of this. And the war is literally just gonna go travel over there, man. It's not gonna be that simple. All right, and just keep on the pressure, uh, gentlemen. And we're gonna get some decryption. Our tanks are doing fairly well. That's pretty good to hear. Getting a full-fledged tank core is going to be going to be making a bit of a difference. Our forces are fighting hard on the Russian front. Austria-Hungary proving once to the Germans finally that they are not a complete crap pot and uh, that they're actually capable of fighting in a war. Uh, Mexico, I would like to trade with you, however, not really. Uh, can I just get what the hell? There we go. Okay. Uh, you guys can probably put on a little bit more aggressive pressure, even though you've got some supply issues right here. The Russians will not be much of a uh, opponent anymore. And I think with Archangels uh, going and soon, the couple of the yeah, victory points that remain, it should be a done deal. And uh, that would lead to a nice little peace treaty. And we've got idiots in our backyard again. I fucking thought we held- we had this shit. I thought- uh, Italy, come on, man. I don't want to stop training troops because, merely because you're incompetent. Um, paratroopers. Edit, duplicate. Um, para... Uh, troopers, our priority units, safe, and paratrooper, paratrooper. Okay. I hope I did the duplication and not that all my forces are actually changing into paratroopers because that would be 
kind of detrimental to what I was hoping to do with them. Yes, we still... Okay, we did this the correct way for once. Right, train paratroopers. I need four times six. There we go. Start training those epic units. All right. The Africa war is going fine. Good. Okay. Um... Like, does this, this just looks to me like Italy has no forces or something. I don't know what they're doing. But the logistic companies, they're gonna make a big difference. I don't wanna... Can I just do that and... Like, cripple these forces completely? Alright, get Archangel... Archangelesque. Hopefully that will lead to capitulation. I doubt it will. I think we need a couple more points afterwards, but uh, there's still like Murmansk here, which can actually is also another five points. So it might not be a bad thing that that is got, probably going to be the next uh, capital of the Russians. Let's see what we're looking at. 90%. Yeah, that might actually be the next capital of the Russians. So what I'm going to do is make a little bit of a front line here put one guy here you're gonna travel right there i'm just gonna straight push into murmansk um it's probably done by the Finns. i just want to keep uh i want to speed this up a little bit is there anything really to be gained here i don't believe there's any harbors here so well, just keep on kicking Russian ass, I guess. That would work. Yeah, but taking Murmansk is probably the final bit. I think by the time the Germans will have taken Perm, um, perhaps uh, um, Sverdlovsk and Shelyabinsk. Well, I cannot pronounce any of that. Italy is sort of holding its own my backyard. Train once, another five. It'll be added on to the about oh, ten, Jesus. We're losing them. Like Spain, like seriously, you have forces here. Oh, come on, man. Wait, we're also transferring them by water? Why? That's such a stupid thing to do. Also, just take out the... Uh... Why do I... What the hell? That makes no sense. Did I, are these forces stuck? Yeah, they're stuck in a loop. Okay, you, all of you, um... No, 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 what the hell are you... Oh, we've got... This is like a serious bug. We've got forces that are, like, stuck in a loop here. That's fairly serious, actually. That would... That's... Uh, like I saw a few... Uh, Besides the fact that it's it's an annoying bug, um, the real problem I have with it is the simple fact that it's causing lag. This is forces that are just doing a repeated task over and over, which doesn't lead to anything. Um, and the Spanish forces here are just a bit annoying, but that's about it. All right, these tanks here are done. I think. Um, Where are my mountaineers by now? Oh, the line got broken, so... Uh... Okay, so you guys can actually just, uh, after you've done that little thing, go back to uh, here and fix that again, please. And don't go by sea. I will give you the fu your fucking orders. Myself. Okay, got that cleared up, and they are going by land. Very good. That's exactly what I want you to do. You guys, um, 
Nah, that's gonna take forever. So let's just go over here and uh, that will do. All right. Um, Okay, Soviet Union, how far are we? 93%. What the hell is left? Okay, nothing up there though, so... I was actually right, the Germans did take those. So... There is some important stuff to be had here. Let's see... Well, after that, we'll guess a push for that. What's their national unity? It's Oh, it's 90%. They managed to push it really high. It's got a bit of a bitch, but... Uh, the Finns will take care of that. We just need a couple more points here. And then there's just Siberia, which doesn't contain much. So we'll take this, and then we'll tell our forces just push down. Get um, that. Keep on the pressure. Like seriously, these guys, they're not helping. That is just insulting, to be honest. Um, France's export and Italy's export are kind of crap right now. I don't want Czechoslovakian export, I will take some from Finland. And necessary some from Chile. Manchuko. All right, there we go. Tungsten. We can get a little bit less from Portugal, there we go. All right, oh, we're at 18. Look, seriously, how are we losing these troops? Are they still doing stupid stuff on water? That uh, doesn't look like it. I am, by the way, seriously pissed at these troops. Look, seriously, why the fuck aren't you doing anything? Okay, tanks have arrived, but they are about to arrive. Norway has capitulated, great news. The Spanish, apparently. With the help from the Finnish, managed to do that. Go Finland. Yeah, you guys should really just go fairly aggressive, actually. We want Russia out of this war. Russia, diversify the program of what? Dying? Mountain Infantry 2, very nice. And let's go for Mountain Infantry 3. And then we're gonna just retake Greece for the umpteenth time. Okay, can you just quickly assist with this one? Because this is driving me nuts. This is literally just driving me nuts. It's like genuinely stupid that these forces are just that these f like AI incompetence, the best thing ever. There we go. Alright, these forces, you just got the fucking attack, man, and you just didn't. Ugh. I sometimes just don't know anymore. <laughs> anyway, we're running at 38 minutes. Um, like, Russia, seriously, how far are you off? 94%? Do I really need to start taking like 90% of your territory? I had hoped that we could do this civilly, Russia. Well, as civil as it can get. Um, I don't know where those 200 Russian forces are, but I definitely don't see them. So we're just gonna sit up here and just tell these troops just go like that. They must be all at right here, I guess. Is there any points to be had here? Doesn't look like it. I assume that Germany is no longer even interested in pursuing their war with. Uh, Liberia joined the Allies. Well, that's gonna be the drop that's gonna kill us. Well, eventually that stuff is actually gonna be the drop that kills us. I'm not joking here. Um, it's just gonna lead to more and more trouble. Now we do have finally got control over the area here. Um, oh, the US stands against fascism. We didn't notice that when you joined the war, USA. 
Guess our tanks will be, well, for now, still be used here in uh, Africa. There's a little bit of resistance there. We've got Casablanca, but I don't. I doubt that's going to be trouble. Right, with that, I'm actually going to end the episode. I want to thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time. Have a very good day. Bye bye.